Hello everyone and welcome to another Roblox Studio tutorial, since last video went well and had a lot of views, and the majority of you voted on keeping the series a thing, join Discord for a right to vote lol, anyways let's get to our tutorial, what we will be doing is a working animated door. Ok we in Roblox Studio, now what you need to do is make a door or just get a free model door, for this video I will be using a free model door since not all people who watch my videos are builders. Ok on my search for a free model door. Ok I found a door, let's begin the configuration part. Oh man, there are things I got to fix in it, be right back. Anyways what you need to do is find the two handles, the outside handle and the inside handle of the door, just union them and rename it handle 1 or handle 2. Done. So now you finished step 1, handles, now go on to step 2 the hinge. And by the way, building is just like building in real life, here is an example, this step the hinge, it's basically the primary part of our door, it's basically the screws of the door that makes it open the direction it opens, you can put the hinge anywhere, if you put it on top of the door, the door will open upside down, yes yeah, so just put the hinge on the side of the door. By the way, the hinge can be any part you want it, it can be anything. After you positioned your hinge, rename the part to hinge. Now that easy, you finished step 2, now the last step of configuration. Anyways, add a proximity prompt in your game, the new thing Roblox did, put it in your game. After that, put a script in your door, then put another script, but this time it will be in the proximity prompt you just added. Now rename the script you put in your door to door script. Anyways now double click the door script you renamed and then you finished last step of configuration, now we begin, 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 operation, script. Let's do this. Ok we are in. The first line of code you will type is local hinge equals script dot parent dot primary part, local hinge means you are getting your hinge that you made, equals script dot parent dot primary part is basically making the hinge your primary part. After you type that, you are going to line 2, type local opened equals false if you don't understand what that means basically saying the door is not opened, it is closed. Now go to line 4 and type local prompt equals script dot parent dot wait for child, proximity prompt, saying local prompt is basically referring to proximity prompt. Now line 6 and type function open door, you are basically creating a function and that function is the open and closing the door. Line 7 type if opened equals equals false then, what you did is say if the door isn't opened then, you basically said the script if it isn't opened go to the next line, the two equals are basically an equal. To sign, I think most of my viewers know what an equal to means. Anyways go to line 8 and type opened equals true, this is from line 7 so it's like if door is not opened then opened true. Now go to line 9 and type for i equals 1. 21 do, it's that easy. Now go to line 10 and type script dot parent set primary part C frame, hinge dot C frame C frame dot angles, 0, math dot red, 5, 0, what you did is basically made the primary part aka the hinge a C frame, now you ask me, what is a C frame, I'll tell you. A C frame, or coordinate frame, is a user data item containing position and rotation data. It can be used to accurately position base parts through their C-frame property, which unlike position, allows the part to be placed overlapping another part and be rotated. So that's a C-frame, it may take time to be used to, yeah, anyways let's continue explaining, hinge.c-frame all that. Nonsense after that is basically coordinates of the hinge, pretty cool huh? Anyways go to line 11, and type wave. I think it's pretty obvious what that line does. 
do what I just did, putting end in line 12 and go to line 13 and type else, else is basically like do it or else I will go and tell the teacher on you. Yeah basically get the point. Anyways go to line 14 and type opened equals false, that's like a confirmation that the door is not opened. Now type what you did back in line 9 and type it in line 15. Now go and type in line 16 what you typed in line 10 but this time you will put in math.red a minus 5 not a normal 5, a minus 5. Now go in line 17 and type wait. Now go in line 21 and type prompt.triggered connect, function, players, this line means when proximity prompt is triggered it connects to the open. And closed door function. Now go in line 22 and type open door, now you finished what you did in line 21. Now go in line 24 and type script.parent.door1.proximity prompt.triggered connect, open door, what you did is when the proximity prompt is triggered, it connects to the function that is open door function. Okay so now go in the proximity prompt script that you did and type this. In line 1 type workspace.part.proximityprompt.triggered connect, function, player, basically saying if the proximity prompt is triggered, connect to the function slash. Now type in line 2 type print, the user interacted with me. Now you finished operation script, congratulations, you have done the door, but wait, there is one last step, it's in the configuration operations. Sorry that I forgot it, let's do it. Go to your proximity prompts properties and we will change a couple of things in it. Ok let me show you a couple of things, first, action text is basically the text that shows up when you get close to the door. Ok second thing the clickable prompt is pretty obvious of what it does, third thing, enabled, if it isn't enabled, then it won't show up, if it is enabled, it will show up, fourth thing exclusivity, I think you already know what that is, anyways, fifth thing, game key code is basically the buttons you have to press so it opens and close, this is the game controller like the Xbox controls, ok after that hold duration is the amount of time you will have to hold so it opens, if it's zero, then just click it, so it can open, keyboard key code is basically the same thing as gamepad key code but for computers, Max activation distance is the amount of closeness you have to be so the proximity prompt shows up, object text is the text that shows up when you see the proximity prompt, requires line of sight, I think that's pretty obvious of what it does, and I think that's all you need. Now we are at the end of the video, if you liked this video and it helped, subscribe, also join my discord, link in the description, Follow my Twitter, also in description, I hope you like the video, also should I do more of these videos or no, tell me in the comments, bye.